on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Controlling Your Interactive Projection with an Arduino. Welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So last week I showed you how to use ProPresenter 6, which is what I normally talk about, to make um, an interactive presentation that you can use on a projector or you could use with uh, a TV to make something interactive. But in order to do that, you really need to use a keyboard. So how can you do it without using a keyboard? Well, let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look and stick around afterwards because I've got an even simpler way to do it, but it's a little more pricey, not out of the realm of possibilities for most churches, but a little more pricey. So let's head over and take a look. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to make this. So as you recall, when you hit the hotkey A, then that shows up. If you hit S, it's replaced by this. Uh, D does that, and F does that. Now the problem is that's really not all that useful. Uh, you don't want to have a keyboard on the wall. So how can you make it to where someone can hit those hotkeys without actually hitting them on a keyboard. Well, that's what I figured out. First off, you're going to need a piece of hardware uh, called an Arduino Leonardo. In short, I found a couple of tutorials. This one, which again I'll link to, and this one that talk about using the Arduino Leonardo. So you see these pins here? Um, you set certain pins to logic high. You don't know, you need to know what logic high is. Just know that that's a setting of the pin. And then you set the... Uh, then anytime it's shorted to ground, then it will do what the program tells it to do. So um, Basically, you have the ability to do things like these regular uh, non-printable keys. Oh, and by the way, the key left GUI, key left GUI on a Mac is the command button. Um, I think it would probably be the Windows button on a PC, but just so you know. So you have those. Again, I'll leave that. And... You don't have to use the Leonardo, um, but notice this um, processor. I'll leave a link to this also in the show notes. This processor is the only one, as far as I know, that can do the keyboard emulation that we need to do. So I know that it worked on the Leonardo. I suspect that it would work on the Explora or the... Um, Yoon, um, and it seems like also we go up here. Yeah, the lily pad. Uh, any of those, I think that it would work on uh, as long as it had the lily pad USB. I mean, as long as it had that key there and the ability to have uh, digital ins and outs. So we need the digital I.O. pins, basically one for each button. The Leonardo has, here, let me pick up my Leonardo, and it has 13. Uh, two are used for transmit and receive, so that leaves 11. More than enough, I only need four. But if you went with the Leonardo, you could get five, etc. So let's head over to the Arduino IDE here 
and let me tell you a little bit about this. This is the free software you can use to program um, the Arduino. Now I'm going to give you this code so if you're using my template uh, that I had in the last tutorial and this code it's really a matter of opening up the Arduino uh, IDE again I'll leave the link uh, it works on Mac and PC by the way so um, and I think there might even be a version for Linux but I don't know off the top of my head so you open that up if you want to use this as is I've, I'm using pins 2, 3, 4, and 5 because pin 0 and 1 uh, are reserved for serial not necessarily but they kind of do. You see here these two hash marks here that indicates um, a comment so that's something that the program ignores so basically down here in the void loop the loop is the thing that just it keeps looking for this so if uh, pin number two reads low so if the first button is pressed and you wire up the first button to go between pin 2 and ground of the Leonardo, it will type A. Then it'll delay for a thousand milliseconds or one second. If number 3 is pressed, then it'll do S 4 D 5 F. Now, if for some reason you don't want to use those hotkeys, it's really simple. Like this could be Q. It, it just works just like a word processor. So I'm going to go back and uh, just save that. So that's basically how, how to do it. Now I'm going to program this real quick. I want to show you one trick and that is basically this is going to the Leonardo, once you program it the first time, it thinks that it's a keyboard. So let me show you what happens if you don't do my little trick here. Uh, it will compile, and it'll say it's uploading, but it's not going to upload. I can just, you know, spoiler alert, it's not actually uploading here. So let's give it, yep, see? couldn't find a board on the selected port. So if we go up here to tools, the board is at uh, Arduino Leonardo, and the port is down here. It says USB modem blah 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 Arduino Leonardo. So that's the same thing. So this is correct. Um, so it should be the case that that shows up. Well, Here's what you need to do. There's a reset button right by the USB. So what you want to do is click the upload button and hold down the reset button. Now when it says uploading here, you let go of that. Basically that shuts it down and it restarts it before it can say, hey, I am in fact a, um, I'm in fact a, keyboard it is programmable. And I've already set up a couple of switches here so I expect that this will be A when I click this switch A and D So that is programming in Arduino Leonardo. And I hope now you've got a couple of ideas of ways that you can use this to either make the interactive projection like I did on a previous show, or to make a teaching monitor where the pastor can control it by hitting very small, subtle buttons on the front of the TV that uh, advance or reverse, depending on which side of the monitor the pastor hits, um, the presentation. One other idea that I had, and it's actually the way that I had initially planned on doing it, was there is a little device called a Makey Makey. Now the Makey Makey is very straightforward and basically it's designed to turn whatever you want almost into a um, 
to keyboard inputs or uh, mouse buttons, etc. Now it's much more limited. So with the Arduino Leonardo, I can type in messages, I have all kinds of control, but with the Makey Makey, I only have a few different keyboard buttons that I could use. Not that that matters that much, because you could set those keyboard buttons to be the hotkeys in ProPresenter. Um, but it's about $50 versus about $20, um, or actually even less uh, with the Arduino Leonardo. So just keep it in mind if what I just showed you seemed a little above your pay grade and you've got an extra 40 50 bucks to spend, maybe that's another way to do it. If you like this content, uh, you'd like my email newsletter. And what I want you to do is head over to um, tdm.fyi slash Arduino Leonardo. That's A-R-D-U-I-N-O L-E-O-N-A-R-D-O -E and I'll give you the um, the code that I showed you here where you can download it and just install that with the Arduino IDE into your own Arduino Leonardo. Also um, in the show notes, I'm going to include a link to that. That's an Amazon affiliate link. Doesn't cost you any more, but it helps make these shows possible. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Mm -hmm.